Okay, now we're going to do the rainbow nameplate, and it usually goes on the forearm or the um, other side of the arm on the back side. And this is the simple one minute design that we're going to do. Uh, if we did it for a party, we would add embellishments like hearts and highlights with white and that kind of thing. I'll show you how to do that after, but right now the first part we're going to do is a quick one minute design. So what you need is a rainbow sponge and a rainbow pot. You need black, I use wolf, and um, a spritzer and some glitter. So I start with wetting my rainbow pot really wet and I also wet my sponge at the same time with the sprayer and you want to make sure you line this up the correct way if you line it up this way you're gonna get mud so make sure you line it up correctly fit the sponge right inside the pot and you're gonna pull push down with your fingers and pull across the pot so you get lines on there just like the rainbow pot and you want to make sure it's nice and dark and opaque like that and you want to make sure that it's all covered the whole thing okay and then you're going to take in the forearm or you can do on this side this side's too hairy on my arm so we're just going to keep it um, on the inside of my arm for this time so and you're going to squinch this uh, sponge down to fit the person's arm because sometimes little kids arms are really tiny so you can always just squish it down like that to make it fit okay luckily my arm is nice and big I don't have to do that so we're going to take it and we're just going to stipple. Stipple is just pressing it up and down really fast. And we're going to go across it twice. Just to give it a nice um, blending. Okay, make sure everything's kind of even. All right, and while it's wet like that, you don't want it runny or anything like that. And you want the colors nice and bright. Otherwise, if, you, if it's running or if the colors are kind of translucent, it means you have too much water on your sponge. So while it's wet, you want to quickly just throw some glitter on there. And while that's drying, we're going to get our black ready. And I like to do the lettering in all uh, teardrops. It makes it really easy. It's all printing. And you need to ask the child to spell it as you're going. Ask them what their name is so you have an idea and then have them spell it as you go along. So we're going to do Leslie's name. I know how to spell Leslie's name. Leslie's my assistant. She's the one holding the camera. Say hi, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> She's doing a great job. Anyway, so um, we're going to start with the L. And I like to just do a nice fat teardrop for both sides and they come to a point together and it looks so pretty. I'm going to do the E in lowercase and I'm going to start with the fat part of the teardrop and I'm going to come to a thin part. And if you run out of paint, you just go back to your pot and pick some up and stay way up on your tip so you can get it in there. And then we're going to do the S, which is a nice fat teardrop. It's starting to run so I want to catch that right away by putting my my brush on my towel to dry it up and then back to the teardrop to soak up that extra water and you'll stop it from running right away then you need to go back and get a little bit of water back to your pot and get some more paint and then do the other side of the S okay you can practice how you do these individually and I'm gonna do an L and I'm gonna keep everything lowercase okay. and I'm going to do the I upside down and I like to with an eye to add a star for the dot you can do a dot or you can do a star I think the star looks really cool kids really like it and then we're gonna end with the E and the same thing is upside down teardrop coming to a T and I ran out again just got some more paint on my brush stayed up on my tip came in okay so that's quickly how you do the lettering and then you want to go back and get some more paint and water and run that brush along the side of your pot to get rid of any extra water and you're going to do some beautiful uh, swirls. So we're going to take, um, take from not quite halfway, we need to save some space for the teardrops, so you know about a third of the way you're going to start up into the design, back down Sorry about that. Back down and come around into a swirl, into the design. Okay? So we're going to do the same thing on the other one. Up, down, back around. Okay? Same thing on the top. We're going to go up, down. Oh. That is upside down, unfortunately. I'll do it right on this side. 
<laughs> we want to go into the design up and back around this way. Okay, that's what we want, this. And then we're going to take some teardrops and make a fan, kind of like a scallop. And that pretty much finishes the design for one minute, okay? And then when we want to add extras, if you're at a party and you have more time, you can highlight, You want to stay out of that black paint, otherwise you'll get gray. And you can highlight these teardrops, which are kind of fun. They're still a little wet. And you can hi highlight parts of the letters, too. And then come back in and put some dots here and there. Cover up any mistakes you might have made. And there you have it. It's all decked out.